Okay, we're starting with uh, QAR number one, or and uh, section A. So, who was working on one A? Hands, please. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Tori, explain to me why Clarice does not go to school. Now, um, this is an interesting point here, Tori. I'm glad you bring this up. People call her antisocial because she does not like to watch TV to learn. Oops. She does not like that. She does not like just running around with sports. Now, before you say, oh, what's wrong with that? Sports are cool. Yeah, um, however, Bradbury's description of sports in the society is that they're pretty rough, just brutal exercises in selfish cruelty. That they're not so much collaborative or competitive. They're not healthy sports. It's just a bunch of people running around knocking each other over. And uh, TV. She is, likes to think. So they call her antisocial. Tori, what do you think? Do you think that she is antisocial because of this? What evidence do you have that she is actually a very social person? Excellent. And she talks to him about things that are real. She doesn't just say, hey, how was your day, and start thinking about what she's thinking about while he's answering. She asks him real questions. Are you happy? And uh, is honest with him and challenges him and listens to everything he says. Very good. Um, Let's see, we kind of bridged into number two there with this discussion, the antisocial bridge between the two. How does the answer to number one seem similar to other behaviors you've seen from Clarice? So it seems similar when she talks to Montag. However, Connor, give me another behavior from Clarice that this also seems similar to. Her rejection of school, her rejection of passivity, her rejection of that TV. What else does that seem similar to that she does? What does she do when she walks? She walks and observes the world. She questions it. She talks with Montag. She walks and observes the world. This is her antisocial behavior. And that's why she rejects school. OK, so now what we have between questions one and two, we have a development of trend, a pattern in her behavior. She is an active, critical thinker. So Bradbury's introduced us to this person who's an active, critical thinker. And you have three pieces of evidence that show that character trait. Rejection of school, talking with Montag, and her obs uh, um, observational walks. What decisions or actions do you believe Clarice has made that we have not learned about yet? Which do you believe that she will make? Adriana. Why do you say that? Because she's actually aware of society and she's actually kind of going against the establishment. What tells you that she's going against the establishment? Because she rejects how school acts and school's kind of part of society. What else tells you that she's going against the establishment? Think about the conversation with Montag. What does she talk to him about? What does she not do with Montag that most people would do? Aaron. She doesn't fear him. She's not afraid of him. She's not afraid of authority. She rejects authority. She rejects authority's methods. Therefore, she's probably reading books. That's exactly how you should make a prediction. Thank you, Adriana. You make a prediction based on evidence. So if you have a prediction, what is she probably doing? She's probably reading books. I'm going to tell you something about the novel. You will never find out whether or not she is. You will never gain access to her house and suddenly see a library. You will never see her caught with books. I know. But uh, plenty of other people will, don't worry. Um, the implication is clear, though. She is probably reading. Well, and it's not so much that she's smart or has knowledge. Remember that just having a big stack of knowledge in your brain makes you good at Jeopardy. 
But really what you need is critical thinking and the ability to ask questions and to observe. Students often say, oh, I can't speak as well as other people speak. I can't use the, the $25 words, the sophisticated vocabulary. You can if you listen. Because people use those words around you all the time. But most people just don't listen. So they don't pick them up. If you listen to the world, listen to the way people speak and actually think about it, you probably learn a lot more than you actually learn in high school. <laughs> Sorry to say, me being a high school teacher. All right. Let's move on. 